there are things that you can do, fellas, just to make sure that your woman is feeling sexy and that, you know, make sure she knows you're her, you're her girl and all that stuff like that. But ladies, you can initiate sex. You know, it's, it's not a one-way street, and he'll appreciate that. He will really appreciate the fact that you initiated it, and you don't have to do it all the time, but it's okay it's to nice. do that sometimes. Yeah. It's very nice to feel wanted. Hey guys, I know Seth. Meet the Simmons back with another video. Today we got a video of David Mann from is being interviewed. David, if you don't know who David Mann is, he's brown from all the Tyler Perry movies. You, when you see his face, you'll know exactly who he is. But he's talking about and this he, is Peter William Moore. Yeah, William William Moore Jr. And uh, so he's talking about touching his wife. Thirty five years. How do you keep the spark going in the love? And I see you actually groping your wife a little bit more than you should on stage, man. I got him praying for you, but I see your promise you, I don't intend to do that but it's a habit your hand like, i make it a habit to touch her in some kind of affectionate way every day every, every day. day 35 years. if i don't if i and she is she'll tell you this true if i walk if I, she walked by and i don't touch her she's like what's up with that she won't she expects she'll put it out there a little extra like you gonna hit it you gotta touch so you got so you got you got to touch him, man. What? That's what hey, he got a Hey, yamba. I got the anointed claw on it. Her, my fingerprint uh, embedded permanently. <laughs> well, <sighs> reminds me of someone. Absolutely. I, my wife don't. You don't get to walk past me without getting touched. It's gonna happen. You ain't gotta walk past it. If I walk past you, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna touch it. That's what it is. It is. That's what it is. So after 23 years of marriage, they've been married 35 years. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's awesome. That's a blessing because a lot of we, you know, we see a lot of the other other side where people mm -hmm. don't even talk for days. It's crazy. Um, but I think it's important that you keep that contact, touch. You know, there's something in touch, and uh, a lot of people lose that as their marriage goes on. Yeah. And uh, do you think, for you as a woman, like, what does that do for you when you walk past me and, and I get it? Besides, sometimes. You know, I get too big. <laughs> I got big hands. I got big hands, so I can grab a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's your question? Okay, how does that make you feel to know that, you know, hey, I'm still, I still want to, still, after all these years, I still want to touch you, because some dudes be like, mm -mm. Oh, it, it, it feels good. I feel desired. I feel wanted. Mm -hmm. um, it, it makes me feel good. It's a, it's an ego boost. I feel flattered, so... Mm -hmm. If it feels really good, it, it definitely feeds my self esteem and <laughs> makes me feel good. And I'm the same way. Like if you walk past and you don't, which that doesn't happen, but I know I think there was a time where you were busy or you had something in your head. It was something. I was like, why didn't he grab my butt? Like mm -hmm. it was. It's weird. It's awkward. And that's when I know I would know something was wrong if you didn't do it. So yeah, yeah. I think it's important, you know, that and it's, it leads to other things, you know that. That that's the lead up to you know the the act of of, of uh, you know making love and things like that. A lot of times, what we'll see when we're when we're dealing with couples is that that's the first thing to go. Mm -hmm. That intimacy, that that touch, is the first thing to go, and that's one of the first things we'll ask is like, how often do y'all actually kiss? When was the last time y'all had like a passionate kiss? Not a peck, not a mm, love you, yeah. like an actual passionate kiss. And you would be surprised how many married couples no longer they no longer tongue kiss, they no longer have passionate kisses. Like, do y'all just get in the bed and just, and then you're done? Like, this is what y'all do? And most of them yeah. ain't even having sex. So it's a lot of things that lead up to a sexless marriage. And it's a lot of things that lead up to the lack of intimacy that goes along with it. And that's on both sides. Mm -hmm. And I see both, arg I see a lot of these arguments. And, and most women will say, oh, well, he don't take me on dates. And he don't do that. Make me feel pretty. And most men like, you don't never want to have sex. Well, both of you guys are investing in this relationship. And it's both of you guys' job to ensure that the intimacy is there to lead up to that. And so it's something that's really important. I think that a lot of couples lose that. They get lost with the kids, lost with work, lost with trying to do this, trying to do that, along with, you know, law, you know their self-esteem. Maybe they gained some weight. Maybe, they, you know, she had the kids. Maybe he's tired. Maybe his testosterone levels are low. Guys, get your testosterone level checked. Every year yeah. your checkup, make sure you're getting your testosterone levels checked. Lifting weights, that keeps mm -hmm. your testosterone levels high. Active lifestyle, things like that. It just made me think, like, we, we accept on, like, in, in other situations, how to have, like, a fit body. I'll say, I'll mm -hmm. use that as, as an example. When you want a fit body, there are certain levels and certain things that you need to do that kind of all culminate to make sure that your body is fit. So there's the physical aspect of working out, 
Um, you have the dietary aspect of making sure you're eating right and eating clean, um, making sure you're getting enough sleep. So there's all these different levels. And if you do all of those things, you end up with the end product of a fit body. Well, to have a fit marriage, there are certain things that you have to do. And that intimacy piece is key. And like you said, touch is just one layer mm -hmm. of that intimacy piece. That's just one layer. And like you said, um, just going wham bam thank you ma'am it's it's hard to go from zero to a hundred but when that engine is revved up and is warm mm -hmm. it's way easier to get that thing going if you know what i mean ladies it's so a place for wham bam thank you man wrong now it is but i'm just saying if that's your norm <laughs> if that's your norm yeah, though yeah, that that yeah. it that's that makes it more difficult so it's just easier maintaining that that mm -hmm. touch and we do that as well every day we touch Every day we're, we're passionately kissing. Every day we're hugging mm -hmm. each other. Every day is a skin to skin contact where I'm laying on his chest or, or just his smell, just all of those things to make sure that we're staying connected and staying close. We live in a world of distraction mm -hmm. and it's so easy to start to slowly drift apart. And before you realize it, you don't even recognize your partner. Yep. So you have to do those things to make sure that you're maintaining your close and intimate relationship. And I'll say this, you know, we, there's this thing floating around in, in on online and even just in our society where it's totally on the man to pursue the woman. It's totally on him to initiate sex. It's totally on him to make sure that she's feeling, you know, like she's ready to go. That is a misnomer. Yeah. That is a misnomer and it's exhausting. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. We, man, we want to feel like, we want to feel sexy too. I want to feel like you want me. I want to feel like I want to get in the bed, ready to go to go to sleep one night, and you initiate sex. You know, it's this thing now that like we want to dump everything on the man that he has to do all these things, to, and and that, that's just too much. It's too much of a yeah. burden for anybody to carry. So, um, there are things that you can do, fellas, just to make sure that your woman is feeling sexy and that you know, make sure she knows you're her, you're her girl and all that stuff like that. But ladies, you can initiate sex. You know, it's it's not a one way street, and he'll appreciate that. He will really appreciate the fact that you initiated it, and you don't have to do it all the time, but it's okay it's to nice. do that sometimes. Yeah. It's very nice to feel wanted. And so I think that's this 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 thing now is like just just like a, like we're just like court jesters, mm. like just entertain me. You know, like that's not what men are. Yeah. And so we need things too. And it's okay to ask for those things. And I know I like to touch you. Mm hmm I like to be touched. <laughs> and with that, that's, that's enough, enough said. said.